Allez, salut tout le monde, on se retrouve aujourd'hui pour la suite du Let's Play de The Witcher 3 sur PC. La dernière fois, nous étions arrêtés ici après avoir parlé à ça et avoir fait un marché avec elle. Et on va tout de suite aller parler à la rêveuse. Donc j'espère que vous allez bien, que vous pétez la forme, parce que moi, oui. La rêveuse est juste là. Who are you? Chris Marigold sent me to see you. Gods. Horrible nightmares. I was supposed to dream the history of this house. Instead, I saw furniture. Hungry furniture that wished to devour me. I know it must sound foolish. But in the dream... Well, it was all too real. And not at all amusing. The work of a godling. She made people believe the house was haunted. Also injected your dreams with her little jokes. And you managed to wake me. I feel fortunate. We witchers have our ways. I thank you very much. The dreams, they were awful. Any way I can pay you back? There is, actually. I'm looking for a young woman who was seen in Novigrad. I can certainly try to help. But I'll need to clear my head first. After those deranged dreams, I feel it's full of cobwebs. Find me at the Golden Sturgeon. I rent a room there. All right. See you there. D'accord. Donc maintenant il faut les prévenir euh, notre cher euh, banquier que la maison est hantée définitivement. I saw Miss Corrine leave, but she refused to speak to me. Is the matter resolved? The opposite. A bit of both. A demon had captured Corrine. I managed to free her, but the house is still haunted. Did Corrine dream of the building's past? Yeah. Pretty horrid, apparently. Though she refused to talk about it. Nobody should inhabit the place. So many crowns I paid! Oh, well. It shan't put me in the poorhouse. Voilà, comme ça elle est tranquille. On va aller tout de suite euh, voir euh, Corinne. Le, je pense que cette vidéo sera plus courte que les autres. Genre, elle fera 20-25 minutes. Quelque chose du genre. Mon dieu, mon dieu, quand, quand je suis dans cette ville, mon PC il fait, il fait l'hélico. Hein. Mais c'est pas grave, tant que vous l'entendez pas, c'est bien. Je vérifierai si vous l'entendez ou pas. Euh, D'accord, il est juste au-dessus, donc il faut remonter par là. Là, c'est la musique derrière, c'est la musique du Gwent. Je l'ai tellement en tête, tellement j'ai fait des parties de Gwent. You must first achieve a kind of mental accord. I must ask some questions. You must answer them. It's important you're truthful. Answer from your heart. Your gift. Tell me how it works. It's hard to describe. To start with, I must gain an understanding of the bond between the person and the object I'm to dream about. I ask questions. Try to flesh out feelings, emotions. Truth is essential in this. And though most who come to me acknowledge that, many refuse to speak openly of certain matters. Apart from which, they remain unaware of others, further obscuring things. What do you see in your dreams? I don't. It's my client who sees. My gift lies in summoning the right dreams. At times, nightmares or strong desires impose themselves on true events. It takes skill to separate seed from chaff. Let's begin. To start with, tell me a memory you have of this woman. What for? Do as I ask, please. I need the strongest, most complete memory you have of... Siri. Woman's name is Siri. It was in Rivia. 
The second war with Nilfgaard had just ended. There was still tension in the air. For gods know what reason, race riots erupted in the town. I tried to do something, but couldn't stop a riled crowd. A boy with a pitchfork. He ran it right through my gut. Jennifer lay dying as well. Siri had us carried onto a boat. We sailed to a place where apple trees bloom eternal. She left us there. That was the last time I saw her. Is there anything you'd like to add? Another memory, perhaps? Yes, there's something else. All right. Tell me no more than you wish to. Siri was orphaned during the second war with Nilfgaard. I had no idea what to do with a young girl. So I did what I would have done with a boy and took her to Kaer Morin. Figured some physical training, sword work, development of her stamina couldn't hurt. I remember her standing on a crumbling wall. A stone came loose. She lost her footing. Caught her at the last possible instant. Strongest memory, though, is of her coming out of her room one day, wearing a dress and claiming she was indisposed. Knew then that Siri was maturing. It was unavoidable. I was lost in the face of that. I see. Do you wish to tell me anything more? Yes, I think so. In that case, I'm listening. Uh, I accepted a job once. Did it. Asked to choose my reward, I invoked the law of surprise. Never thought I'd actually meet the child promised to me at that time. Years later, I was in the Broccolon forest. Happened on a girl there. Didn't know who she was. The Dryads wanted to keep her, turn her into one of their own. But the waters of oblivion, they failed in her case. Siri came out of Broccolon with me. I sent her back to her grandmother then, but already I felt bound to her. By destiny. By something more. Thank you. Would you be... Yes. It was after her time training at Kaer Morhen. After the moment when Yennefer first called Ciri her daughter. We'd been separated. I knew she was in danger. I dreamt of her multiple times. I found her at Stiga Castle. She'd gone there to free Yen and gotten herself captured in the process. They wanted to hurt her. I remember fighting side by side with Siri on stairs, slippery from blood. It was the first time she ever deflected a crossbow bolt with her sword. I told her never to try it again. You claim the woman has abilities. Tell me about them. She's a child of the Elder Blood. A descendant of Bloody Falker. The rebel burned at the stake. The prophecies claim the world's destroyer will be born of the Firebrand's cursed blood. Pure legend. No one a legend transforms into prophecy when it gains believers. I think you're right to be reticent in talking about the woman. I see. Do you wish to say more? Yeah. They call Ciri the Lady of Space and Time. Once I asked Yennefer why, she... travels between worlds. <laughs> Turns out I don't know how to talk about it. I didn't really understand much of what Yen told me. I just know there's more to it than traveling to different places, and that Ciri carries immense power in her blood. I see. Do you wish to say more? Yeah. I remember Ciri having trouble controlling her abilities. Yennefer tried to teach her to cast simple spells, and Ciri destroyed a shed near the temple where they were really upset her, but it was just an old shed. I know it took her a while to gain control, and frankly, I doubt she controls her abilities fully to this day. I see. No. 
Hopkins. Naturally. I knew you cared about her. But your tone, the emotions you so carefully conceal. Let's continue, please. Make yourself comfortable and try to relax. You must take my hand and talk of Silly. Tell me where you think she might be. Who could be at her side? Mm -hmm. If Siri couldn't find me, I'm sure she would have looked for another friend. Who do you mean? Maybe Dandelion. They liked each other a lot. swallow at first. After that, just nightmares. At times, the dreams can multiply. Show the past as well as the future. The swallow. It symbolizes Siri. She contacted Dandelion. I didn't know he was in town. The poet? Heard about him? Someone left in the world's more in time in their will. The Rosemary in time? Where's that? As you enter the city through the red light district, you come upon a bridge. The Rosemary is just past it. Dandelion inherited a brothel? So I've heard. Thanks for your help. Good luck, Witcher. I hope you find your Siri. Euh, pour le moment, je mute mon micro parce que vous l'entendez sûrement derrière. Euh, Quelqu'un passe la spi, donc euh, dès que c'est fini, je remets mon micro. Donc, euh, un petit moment euh, sans micro. Allez. Donc là pour le moment c'est bon, il n'y a plus d'aspi, <rire> donc on va continuer. Ok, des bandits, bien pour eux, moi m'en fous, hein, moi je passe. Vous voyez sûrement en bas à droite, enfin en bas à gauche, la décoction d'archigriffon. C'est une potion vraiment très très intéressante parce que quand on est full de vigueur, et qu'on utilise la potion, on a 10% de dégâts supplémentaires. Euh, enfin, pas 10% de dégâts supplémentaires, mais on fait 10% de la vie de l'adversaire en dégâts supplémentaires. Donc sur des boss, c'est très très intéressant. Ok, bah, je peux pas passer par là. Donc on va passer par l'autre côté. Ah, Zult Il y avait Zoltan Zoltan, with your boot to someone's ass, as always. Who were those men? Local color. I wasn't they going more than a moment. Long enough for them to turn our home into theirs. All right, time for some spring cleaning. I've got to boot them all out. Care to join me? 
With pleasure. Damn, you're ugly. Reminds me of a taste of war. Yeah, almost like we never left Bergen. Oh là, c'est bon. Now we can greet each other like the gods of me. Ages. Hey, Zoltan. You look good. Training plenty lately. What with the war on, no Mahakaman meat to be found, but Redadian laggers standing in just fine. You, though, you've withered a bit. Something worrying you. It's about Siri. I know she came to Novigrad. Might still be here. You mean she's come back? I'll be damned. I wonder if I'd recognize her. How many years is it now? Six? Seven? But what'd she be doing here? Hiding, probably. She might be in danger. See her in your dreams? Couple times. Her and the wild hunt. Oh, not good. Not at all, but I know she came here and contacted Dandelion. <sighs> We've a wee problem then. Where's Dandelion? <laughs> I'd like to know that myself. Maybe he could explain what the hell's going on. Not just barely returned as you saw. <laughs> I'm expecting to come home to a hot leg of boar and some cold ale. And what do you find instead? A shite storm. Dandelion gone. The tavern chock full of bums. Have no clue what happened. Hmm. Let's look around. Might find something that'll put us on his trail. Prime idea. I say we start on the ground floor. Ok, euh, rez-de-chaussée. Ah ah ah, une note from a grateful muse. Reading someone else's letters. My visage red and hot, I plunged into purest ecstasy and. Hmm, 10 barrels of Toussaint dry, 5 cases of sodden triple mead. Hmm. Nothing here. No, 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 that's exactly what we're looking for. It says planner. Huh. Dandelion and planning? Good one. Besides, anything he wrote here probably had a special system. Chaos only he could ever decipher. Actually, in the past, sometimes not even that. Give him a chance. Might not be that bad. Seems when he inherited this fine establishment, it came with some fine responsibilities. Bookkeeping among them. He also made a habit of noting down the times of his meetings, official and private. So, who'd he been seeing of late? Ah, here it is. Hmm. Seems he's only been meeting women of late, the dog. Hmm. Not a bad idea. Dandelion's pretty loose-lipped. Might have blabbed something to a lady friend that'll put us on his trail. That's what I'm counting on. Hmm. We should divide these somehow. Perhaps... Ah, fuck it. I'll ask the lassies in my half, you interrogate the ones in yours. So you? Zoltan, wait. This is in verse. And you figure that's unnatural because... Wonderful. Meet me back here when you're done. Share our findings. Right, you yeah. are. Need to do a wee bit of tidying for a go. Cannot stomach the idea of coming back to this mess. And you'd be wise to read your bit before you scurry off. If you need anything, I'll be next door. Ok, alors. Inventaire. Le dessin d'un fou, ouais. Les deux frânes. D'accord. Oh, il y a du monde, hein. Still here, looking for something. 
Ah, just checking to see that everything... Actually, glad you're still here. Wanted to ask you about someone. Though well she knows the touch of silken lace, she shuns not straw when gripped in lust's embrace. Molly, keeps things tidy for the Baroness Lavalette. A Baroness within reach and he settled for a chambermaid? Dandelion's not one to judge folk by their station. You know that. Like he says, in the alcove, we're all equals. Yeah, guess a true poet observes life in all its aspects, examines it from all perspectives. If I didn't know him better, I'd say he was jealous about this Marabella. Oh, I doubt it. Former pupil. And <laughs> well, the tales he told me about her. Doubt I want to hear them. Probably better off not. Things between them took a turn for the strange at some point. Meaning? She had him wearing mummer's costumes. She took to calling him Christian. Referring to herself as Anastasia. Huh, truly perverse. <laughs> it had a kind of half of it. Called him a stallion once. That's a fool took it as a compliment. Till she pulled a bit in the range into her cupboard. <laughs> Poor bastard fled out the window. Vespula. Name rings a bell. She threw his knickers out the window. That's her. Hollered something about him being a scoundrel with a voice like a consumptive pheasant. That's her. Threw flower pots at him. Guess soul flames never die. Like a rose abashed of its crimson hue, fair Rosa would sink into humor's blue. She shunned her lessons in civility to swing her dwarf with agility. Dwarf. Never suspected he'd be so humble. <laughs> Dwarfs what Rosa of our atre deemed her here. Well chosen, eh? All right. But Varatra? Her dad happened to be the Nilfgaardian ambassador. He is. You know him? Wouldn't say that. Had a brief conversation with him at the palace in Vizima. Well, then you've a good notion of the kind of bloke he is. Commissioned Dandelion to tutor Rosa and her sister in the art of rhetoric. But we, Rosa, preferred swordplay. How dare she reject the great bard in favor of a common swordmaster? Well, then one, it seems. Week on week, we get fresh gossip about her thrashing another instructor. So bad he resigns. Word has it her dad's now looking to hire our next victim. I mean, instructor. A figure most rare, her nature dual. Look deep in her eyes or be made a fool. Well, well. Seems fascinated with this one. Uh, not without reason. Never been much for elven women myself, but this one's exceptional. They say Francesca Finderbeard be jealous. You want to take this one, then? Nah, you can have her. Why? You see, elven beauty is like a young Beauclair wine. Whereas I prefer vodka straight up. Ok. Alors, voyons voir le plus près. Tu veux le plus près, d'accord, bah allons-y. Et on va faire celle-là et ensuite on s'arrêtera là. Et les, dans l'autre les, dans vidéo, la prochaine, on fera les quatre dernières. I will get you every last copper. With interest. Give me a week, please. Horson's no banker. He's an honest man. You pay on time, you get protection. You don't pay. Help! What you hollering for, stupid wench? What are you hoping for? A knight in shining armor? Close enough. Keep out of this, Greyhead. Not your concern. This coin and leave. That ain't how it works. Vespula's to pay or be taught a lesson. Already given her a verbal reprimand. Now go before I teach you a lesson. Come on. Gold's gold. Thank you. Oh, thank you. 
To think there are men will help a stranger out of the kindness of their hearts. Not entirely out of kindness, and you're not entirely a stranger. What are you? Oh, I know you. You're that witcher took Dandelion out whoring. Gerald, right? Not Gerald. Geralt. Oh, dreadful sorry. What do you think? Where could Dandelion be? Probably out whoring. That horse pheasant. That lion scoundrel. Ouch. What did he do to get your goat? Same thing as ever. Prize bullshitter came back saying it was till death do we part this time. And no more than a week passed before I spotted him in Harborside, strolling with some trollop on his arm. It was the last straw. All those questions about the washerwomen at the bathhouse, then this. I beat him black and blue and threw him out on his ear. Dandelion asked you about other washerwomen? Not terribly subtle, even for him. Maybe he likes some sudsy. Ah, uh, maybe. But what did he ask about, exactly? Oh, this and that, really. What's it like at the bathhouse? Have I got any friends there? What are their working hours? I don't know. Maybe he's looking to hire one for his tavern. Maybe I got all in a huff for no reason. This woman he was with in the harbor. Who was she? Claimed she was his niece from Covia. Ha! <laughs> Horvia, more likely. Corset so tight her eyes were popping out her head. His too, come to think of it. An artist or a whore. Doesn't much matter as they're one in the same. Thanks for your... Listen, when I find Dandelion, anything I should tell him? No. I mean, tell him he's a two-faced snake. D'accord, et eh bien nous allons nous arrêter là pour cette vidéo, j'espère que celle-ci vous aura plu, n'hésitez pas à laisser un commentaire à j'aime, surtout vous abonner à la chaîne, c'était The Step pour chez Tibon HD, passez une bonne journée, une bonne soirée, et vive les jeux vidéo Oh, trompette de touche